So what, is, what do they have when the Masha got was shot? Five letter word. Faith. She wasn't there when Martha said it to him. Same thing Martha said to him. Same thing Mary said to him. She said, hey, you've been here. My brother had not died. When Masha got shot, therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. See, everybody crying and mourning. They groaned in his spirit, seeing it. He was troubled. And said, Where have he laid him? They said unto him, Master, come and see. Mashiach got shy well. All the crying and tears and mourning. That's what was his friend. Mashiach got shy well. That's the shortest verse in the Bible. John 11 35. Mashiach got shy well. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. See? Remember he was, he was troubled in the spirit. He groaned in the spirit. He was troubled in the spirit. Then he started crying for his friend that had been dead for four days. Lazarus. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. He was mourning. And some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes, open the eyes of the blind, so like it. And some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind cause, have, have caused that even this man should have should not have died. They couldn't have called this so this man wouldn't have died. Isn't that Israel? Always finding fault in someone. Always, yeah, we can let's 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 see. We gotta <laughs> This is about Jack Yahushua. He did, remember he done more miracles than we put in all the books of the world. And here they come with. Couldn't he have a couldn't he have a he, he opened up other other eyes gonna have been there to, to uh make sure that he didn't die. Everybody just it's your fault. <laughs> what they say is your fault. Couldn't you have been there so he so he wouldn't have died? It says I'm not saying I'm saying, therefore again groaning in himself coming to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Went to the grave of Lazarus. Mashiach was trying to say, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Mashiach, Master, by this time he stinketh, for he have been dead for days. So he stinketh. You know, the body is Cheering. And stinking. So you've been dead four days. Mashiach said unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe you would have faith in the Most High, thou should have seen the glory of the Most High. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And the Mashiach was trying to lift up his eyes and said, Father, I but know it. I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou heareth me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus hath spoken, he cried. He cried. He cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Remember, he was already crying. But Lazarus, you got to hear the doubt and the little faith. And all the faith that they had to say, if he'd have been there, it would have happened. 
Now you got to see the doubt in the fact that he told him, hey, he'll rise again. You never know he's going to rise again in the resurrection. No, he's going to rise again in front of your face. They doubt it. Because he had been dead four days. But remember, nothing's impossible with the Most High. Have faith in the Most High. Did he call on himself? No. He called on the Most High, Yahweh, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Verse 43 of John 11 chapter. And when he had thus, and when he had, and when he had thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. My shepherd shall say unto them, loose him and let him go. Then many of the Jews, which came to Mary, and had seen the things which the Mashiach of Shai did, believed on him. And it, is, it fulfills just what the Most High said. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.22 For the Jews require a sign. You know what it says? John 11, 43. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Mashiach Shai said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which the Mashiach Shai did, believed on him. Many had faith then because they seen that sign. They seen something tangible happen. Then they believed on it. It's like the most I done came to for some of you. And how easily you forget. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees. So you had a bunch of traitors. You had a bunch of uh, no accounts right along in the mix. Bunch of spies right along in the mix. They went to the Pharisees and told them what things Mashiach Yahushua had done. See, everybody ain't down with the Mashiach Yahushua. They might say it just like where were they at? They were right with the people that believed in the Mashiach Yahushua. Right in the mix of them. But what were they? What they do? They went to the Pharisees. Check this out. They went to the Pharisees. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Amashek Oshai had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? What we gonna do? They got a council, call all the men together. What we gonna do? What does man do of many miracles? This is the last miracle that Amashek Oshai had done that was so fantastic and so wonderful and so powerful and through the power of the Most High, Say, hey, what we going to do, man? This man doing his miracles like this. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans, who are the Romans? The so-called Italian Caucasians, who part of earth at the time when the Mashiach of shot walked the earth, the same ones that crucified him, the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. So what is he saying? Just like you see these poach I mean, preachers hooked up with America, they 501c3s, they can't do whatever they want to do. They got to follow rules and regulations of the state they're in under the 501c3, the nonprofit organization that they are and not just dealing with the spirit of the Most High and the word of the Most High and truth and righteousness. Hooked up with the same Romans, only they call Americans now. Same thing. What are they going to do? That's why where the politicians are going. See if they're going to any Hebrew Israelite church. <laughs> they were right into the ones that had a 501c2, the nonprofits. That's what they were worried about. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. 
say. See, the Most High, He sent forth His angels to fulfill His will, whether on the right side or the left side. Look at Daniel's 9 and 20. And whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication, my crying, my willing of before the Most High, my power for the holy mountain of my power, yeah, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening obligation. That's why a lot of you don't know who you're dealing with, who they represent. That's why the most I told you and reminded all of us in Hebrews 13 and 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. So these strangers will look like you would think they're regular men. That's why it says just the gave just the angel Gabriel. In Daniel's 9:21. Say, yeah. While I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision of the at the, in the at the beginning, being called to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening obligation. Oblation, excuse me. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O oh, Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Most I said his angels. 